Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, I'm not going to run my little intro. I think you're probably familiar with it. I'll do it sometimes. Maybe I'll do it at the end of the uh, thing. Um, I think that the synchronization of the audio and video may be off. I've been testing it. I think it's off, or I mean off by not being synchronized right. Not sure exactly how to fix that. Uh, so I'll worry about later on. Uh, what I want to talk about very briefly today is here in the United States, uh, once a year, uh, Social Security is adjusted uh, and people on Social Security, and I'm one of them, the people that are on uh, Social Security get an adjustment. And uh, I think it's the Wealth, well, we'll see by this text over here. Retire, I might as well just go ahead and read it. Retirement on, retirees on Social Security expect a major announcement in one week. Social Security benefits are a key source of income for millions of older adults. It is for me, by the way. In fact, about 37% of men and 42% of women rely on their Social Security checks for more than half of their retirement income, according to data from the Social Security Administration. If you're depending on Social Security and retirement, any changes to the program can have a significant impact on your finances. And there's one coming up announcement that will affect how much you receive in benefits in 2023. That would start in January, you know. Okay. Social Security is a fixed income source that's adjusted for inflation each year to help maintain its purchasing power. The boost is in benefits is called a cost of living cost of living adjustment, COLA. Many years, the COLA is relatively small, generally just 1% to 3% increase in benefits per year. However, because inflation has been surging throughout 2022, next year's COLA will be a significantly larger amount. The Social Security Administration is responsible for calculating this figure. It does so by looking at the Consumer Price Index for urban wage earners and clerical workers, which reflects the price changes for consumer goods and services from July through September. Then it compares the numbers to the same data from the year prior. For example, for, for example in the third quarter of 2020, the CPIW, was, well, we don't care about that, uh, you can read this. Um, which is why seniors received a 5.9 COLA in 2022. The Social Security Administration is expecting expected to release next year's official COLA on October 13th. Mark your calendars because the adjustment for 2023 will likely be one of the largest in decades. Okay, are they not going to let me read any more here? Oh, continue reading. Okay, I thought maybe they wanted to charge or something for it. Okay. Uh, how high will the COLA be in 2023? Well, nobody will know the exact COLA until the Social Security Administration makes its announcements. Some experts have made predictions based on how income has fared throughout the year. Okay, uh, blah, 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 blah. 
so it looks like um, the Senior Citizens League, for example, predicts next year's COLA will be 8.7 percent. A 8.7 COLA would also be the largest adjustment since 1981. The average retiree collects about 1,673 per month from Social Security and an 8.7 increase would result in an extra $146 per month. So I won't read the rest of this to you. They go on to talk about, uh, talk about it a little bit more. So I think that's the main thing I wanted to get across to you. If you're outside the United States, uh, you probably, you know, doesn't matter to you. Well, I guess it could be, you know, U.S. Uh, citizens, that live, you know, living in other countries and things, too. Uh, I'm living on Social Security, and I get a very small extra amount of money from a uh, working, uh, let's see, 18 years at one hospital. And uh, that's not very much money. It's $175 is what it is. And that's it. I live on Social Security and, you know, 175 extra dollars. So Social Security is, you know, very important to me and to millions and millions of other, you know, Americans that are, you know, old farts, not like you young whippersnappers. Anyway, uh, thank you very much. I'll see if I can figure out what in the hell is uh, why the audio is not sinking. Uh, I like the sound of the, this audio and everything. I could go to the audio just out of the uh, PW513 USB webcam. I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Oh, by the way, now that you know how poor I am, it, it would help very much if you'd use the link to go to Social Security, or go to, yeah, go to Social Security. No, uh, if you'd use the link uh, for going to Amazon, it's below. And if you purchase something, I will get a small commission. And uh, any amount, you know, would help. So thank you very much. Pause recording? No. Stop recording.